Marburg hemorrhagic fever is an acute infectious disease caused by an RNA-containing filovirus, Marburg virus, that occurs with severe capillarotoxicosis and high mortality. Marburg hemorrhagic fever include high fever, severe intoxication, severe diarrhea and vomiting, skin hemorrhages, internal bleeding, damage to the liver, heart, kidneys, central nervous system. When diagnosing epidemiological and clinical data, the results of laboratory, virological, serological, electron microscopic studies are taken into account. Patients with Marburg hemorrhagic fever are subject to hospitalization and isolation, treatment, mainly symptomatic, sometimes interferon therapy, the introduction of plasma convalescence effective. Overview Marburg hemorrhagic fever is a natural focal infection characterized by severe intoxication and hemorrhagic syndrome, damage to the liver, gastrointestinal tract, central nervous system. Marburg hemorrhagic fever belongs to the group of especially dangerous, quarantine infections characterized by high infectiousness and lethality. The first outbreak of the disease was reported in 1967 in the cities of Marburg and Frankfurt, which is why the infection was called Marburg hemorrhagic fever, also green monkey disease, etc. In addition to Germany, cases of Marburg hemorrhagic fever have been observed in Serbia, Sudan, South Africa, Kenya. Reasons the causative agent of hemorrhagic fever Marburg, Marburg virus, belongs to the family of filoviruses. Variants are spiral-shaped, worm-shaped, or rounded, length 665 to 1200 nanometers and diameter 70 to 80 nanometers, contain RNA and lipoprotein. The resistance of the virus in the external environment is average. In its morphology and properties, Marburg virus is similar to the viruses that cause Ebola, but there are some differences in antigenic structure between them. The source of the European outbreak of Marburg hemorrhagic fever in 1967 was imported from Africa green monkeys, most of which died from an unknown disease. In total, of the 25 cases of Marburg hemorrhagic fever, 7 people died. Later, similar cases of the disease were recorded in the natural habitats of African green monkeys, which gave reason to consider them as the main source of infection and reservoir of the virus. Human infection is possible by contact in contact with the blood and other secretions of the patient, airborne droplets when the virus enters the mucous membranes of the oral cavity and conjunctiva. There is a known case of infection with Marburg hemorrhagic fever sexually. After the infection, long-term immunity is formed. Cases of recurrence are not known. After penetration and primary replication of the virus in the cells of the monocytic macrophage system, massive viremia develops, suppressing immune reactions. This leads to generalized microcirculation disorders and the development of Dick syndrome, capillary toxicosis and multi-organ lesions. Foci of hemorrhages and necrosis in Marburg hemorrhagic fever are formed in the myocardium, lungs, liver, kidneys, adrenal glands, spleen and other organs. Symptoms of Marburg fever from the moment of infection to the appearance of the first symptoms, it takes from two days to three weeks. The manifestation of the disease is acute, without prodromal phenomena. Characteristic signs of Marburg hemorrhagic fever are prolonged, within two weeks, and high fever, up to 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, chills, severe intoxication, headache, weakness, myalgia and arthralgia. From the first day, the patient has anemia, conjunctivitis, erosion on the oral mucosa. On the third, fourth day, the course of Marburg hemorrhagic fever is aggravated by cramping abdominal pains, 
vomiting, watery diarrhea, resulting in rapid dehydration of the body. On the fifth, sixth day of the disease, a maculopapular rash appears on the trunk, upper extremities, neck and face, often accompanied by skin itching and peeling of the skin. In the future, hemorrhagic syndrome develops, hemorrhages in the skin and conjunctiva, gingival, nasal, uterine, gastrointestinal bleeding. By the end of the first week in patients with Marburg hemorrhagic fever, signs of hepatitis, myocarditis, and kidney damage are determined. Changes in the central nervous system are characterized by a dynamia, lethargy, convulsions, loss of consciousness. The maximum severity of signs of toxicosis, dehydration, hemorrhagic manifestations and multi-organ disorders reach in the second week of the disease. The death of patients with Marburg hemorrhagic fever can occur from pulmonary or cerebral edema, hypovolemic shock, Dick syndrome, acute renal failure. In surviving patients, the period of convalescence is protracted, asthenization, headaches and muscle pains, periodic abdominal gear persist for a long time, alopecia often develops. Complications and residual effects of Marburg hemorrhagic fever include uveitis, encephalitis, myelitis or chitis, testicular atrophy, pneumonia, mental and intellectual disabilities. Diagnostics Diagnosis of Marburg hemorrhagic fever is based on clinical, epidemiological and laboratory data. When collecting anamnesis, the fact of the patients stay in the natural focal area, contact with disease carriers and sick people is clarified. Non-specific blood changes include leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, increased levels of liver enzymes. In order to confirm the diagnosis of Marburg hemorrhagic fever, molecular biological and serological, RT-PCR, RIF, ELISA, ASK, PH, electron microscopic studies are used. Testing of biomaterial is carried out in special laboratories in compliance with the requirements of maximum safety. To assess the defeat of internal organs, an ic ultrasound of the kidneys and ultrasound of the liver, a coagulogram study, a general urinalysis, a COSA performed. In connection with the development of multi-organ disorders, patients need to consult a nephrologist, neurologist, gastroenterologist, cardiologist, hematologist, ophthalmologist. Differential diagnosis is carried out with other hemorrhagic fevers, yellow, hemorrhagic with renal syndrome, Crimean, Omsk, Bolivian, Argentine hemorrhagic, Lassa fever, Ebola fever, etc. Malaria, cholera, shigellosis, abdominal and recurrent typhoid, leptospirosis, hepatitis, meningitis, etc. are also excluded. Treatment of Marburg hemorrhagic fever patients with suspected Marburg hemorrhagic fever should be immediately hospitalized in an infectious diseases hospital and isolated in separate boxes. When organizing patient care, disinfection measures, protection of medical personnel are being strengthened, and safe medical and diagnostic manipulations and procedures are being organized. Etiotropic therapy for Marburg hemorrhagic fever has not been developed, so the focus is on pathogenetic and symptomatic measures. Parenteral detoxification therapy and oral rehydration, intravenous administration of platelet mass are carried out. There is evidence of the effectiveness of the introduction of plasma convalescence, interferon therapy, plasmapheresis. With the development of bacterial complications, antibiotic therapy is prescribed. Prognosis and prevention The disease has a serious prognosis and poses an increased risk in terms of epidemic outbreaks. Mortality among patients with Marburg hemorrhagic fever is 25 to 70 percent. 
When detecting cases of Marburg hemorrhagic fever, strict adherence to the precautions recommended when working with especially dangerous infections is necessary. Transportation and treatment of patients is carried out in special isolation rooms. Patient care should be carried out by specially trained personnel using personal protective equipment. Specific prevention of Marburg hemorrhagic fever has not been developed. It is advisable to organize epidemic control of persons coming from endemic regions. Conclusion In conclusion, the Marburg virus is a rare but deadly virus that can cause widespread outbreaks. While there is currently no specific treatment, early diagnosis and supportive care can help improve outcomes. The best way to prevent the spread of the virus is through good hygiene practices and taking appropriate precautions in high-risk situations. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.